Hey, do you own one of these? Maybe you own one of these. Do you feel a little short in the middle sometimes? According to Tyler, I'm always short. Anyway, maybe you want to use the AM5 on another tripod that you own. Well, now you can. This is the ZWO PE200 peer extension. It's new, and I'm going to tell you all about it. My name's Simon, and you're watching AstroWorks. If you own an AM5, you might be quite familiar with the issue of longer optical tubes on a compact tripod. At times, longer telescopes can foul the tripod legs, and these can lead to a loss of imaging time while realigning, and even possible equipment damage if you do manage to crash into the leg. This is usually an increased risk if you use an imaging chain with a filter wheel which sticks out a bit more on most imaging rigs. To get around this issue, many users add a peer extension to their setups to raise the telescope away from the angled legs of the tripod, and ZWO has produced a number of different peer adapters for the AM5 to help with this. These all work great when you want them left in place, but what about if you're in the field or travelling? These peers screw together and they're not that simple to remove, requiring a lot of work with a hex key, and possibly in the dark, and there's a lot of small parts to inevitably lose in the grass at night. And what about if you want to use the AM5 on a tripod you already own, or want something bigger to push the weight limit of the mount? Well, this could be the answer that you're looking for. The new ZWO P200 peer extension is designed for simple no-screw setup in the field, as the screw fixings have been changed to a top and bottom clamp design. No more juggling with screws and a hex spanner in the dark. The unit is designed so that you can quickly set up and break down your imaging rig in the field with just a few locking clamps to hold it in place. The build quality is fabulous. It's constructed of aluminium and weighs 1.6 kilos. It adds 200 millimeters of height to the AM5. That's eight inches to translate for Tyler. That gives improved clearance above the tripod, so it'll accept longer optical tubes. The PE200 is really versatile as well, so let's take a closer look. In the box, you'll also find instructions and an included adapter ring to allow attachment to standard Skywatcher inch and three quarter tripods and the two inch Celestron AVX tripods, and a set of screws that allow connection to the top plate of an Ioptron tripod too. Installation on the AM5 is easy. Uh, undo the AM5 from the tripod if you've already got it set up and drop the peer extension into the top of the tripod and tighten the clamps. Then replace the AM5 into the top of the newly installed peer adapter and tighten the top clamps, securing the AM5 head into place. That's it. It's simple and easy and no screws and hex spanner to lose. So this fast setup means it's highly suitable for use in the field and in the dark. For Celestron and Skywatcher mounts, an adapter is included in the box. You fit this by removing the AM5 adapter from the base of the peer extension. Undo three bolts and then fit the Skywatcher adapter to the pier using the same screws and you're done. Now you can fit the pier extension to your tripod using the M10 locking bolt like you normally would with your current mount head. You can then use your AM5 on a Skywatcher tripod like the ones found on the EQ6R, or maybe the Celestron 2 inch tripod found on the AVX depending on which you have at hand. Still more to come on the PE200, so don't disappear just yet. For Ioptron tripod owners, you can also use the PE200 on your inch and three quarter tripods too. To install the P200 on the Ioptron tripods, remove the adapter plate entirely, then install the pier on the tripod using two bolts like you were securing the head unit onto the tripod in the normal manner. This is really good news if you're keen to run a larger tripod on the PE200, and yet the PE200 has one more trick up its sleeve. I know what you're saying. That's great, Simon, but 1.6 kilos, that's a bit more to carry into, feet, into the field. Can't you make it lighter and... This is where the PE200 really shines. Purchase the optional three pillar kit and you can go lightweight with your PE200. Or should I say PE160 as the height is slightly reduced using the pillar kit. It's also worth noting that the maximum recommended load in this configuration is reduced slightly to 10 kilos. It's easy to install before leaving home. Remove the bolts holding the head plate onto the pier extension and then remove the bolts from the base plate and then remove that center tube. 
installed the three pillars to the top and bottom plates, tighten the bolts, and you're done. That's it. Now you have a lightweight portable pier for use in the field as well. The PE200 is a very versatile pier extension. It allows quick setup and breakdown on the AM5 to on the TC40 tripod, and the added ability to use this on Ioptron, Skywatcher, and Celestron tripods makes mounting the AM5 on tripods you may already own much easier. The addition of the optional three pillar kit adds an additional lightweight option to the PE200 as well. If you'd like to know more about the ZWO carbon fiber tripod, then check out our review in the description. I'll include a link for you. Overall, I really like the PE200 and I think you will too. It's an all-round extension you can use on the ZWO tripod and now Celestron, Skywatcher and Ioptron ones. This really opens up the AM5 in terms of mounting flexibility and gives you both a means to run longer optical tubes, but also use the AM5 on a tripod you may already have. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to check out our review of the ZWO TC40 Carbon Tripod 2. Until next time, thanks for watching.